but it also works directly with the camera that um, focuses on, don't know. Hi, today I'm going to talk about my navigation, my media and my tracking. I find this very important when out in the bush and I think it's very important that everyone takes control in what they're doing and where they're going. Today we're going to talk about the Garmin InReach Mini and the iPad Mini that I use for my navigation. You can check this out. I hope you enjoy it. I find it important to have a very good navigation and Garmin system that I use. However, I've changed it slightly to use the iPad Mini Pro. I find it's a lot more user friendly and simpler and this is not entirely my idea. So I want to thank Johan from Tracks for Africa. I chatted with him and looked at his and I kind of changed it for my way too. So the reason I use this is because it works directly with my media as well as with my navigation and support. With this, coupled is the Garmin InReach Mini which gives me the opportunity to track what I'm doing but then also as a paid system it gives me the opportunity to text message as well as being out in the bush and not having to worry about signal. This I find is extremely important because as you know when you do get lost or something does happen you don't have a problem and you're able to send people a message but more importantly you can send it through the app on this device. The app is geared for most places so you don't have a problem with which device you're going to use but it is going to make a big difference when it becomes user friendly. As you can see on the setup here I've laid it as low as possible that doesn't interfere with my screen so that I have a complete view and line of sight. This made a huge difference in being able to select everything that I'm looking for but then also find the apps in one little area um, and be able to open those apps that are pretty quick. It's made a massive difference to the way uh, I've done my overlanding and I found it the best way to pre-plan everything, put everything you need on it and then be able to find it while you are still scrolling and driving so it's not a small screen and it is super fast. So with the Dashcam 56 from Garmin I found I did a little bit of research on the memory card that I had to put in there. You don't want to go for a very low memory card, you want a high memory card with that takes I think the rating of 10 because you want the HD out of it. The other thing is that you want it to record as long and as much as you want that you can always go back to. So the functionality with the dash cam coupled with the app on the device, it allows me to go back and view, take shots and then record if I need to if something's happened in front of me. what mounts to use and I considered uh, mounting one and building it within the dashboard which I didn't really want to drill any holes into my vehicle so I went with the RAM mount purely because it allows me the functionality to take it off and the safety to keep it on when going through bad corrugation what I did is I took the whole casing off and I took the RAM mount ball and I screwed it in very neat and cleanly into the back of it which allows the any uh, corrugation and bouncing to hit the rubber coupled that it doesn't interfere with the back of the iPad mini which is pretty cool so that I can take it out the casing if need be. So the mount itself is very robust if you know any RAM mounts you'll know exactly how they work and it makes a very big difference. The functionality is that I can also take this off and put it anywhere else that I want within the glass. Obviously it's a defender or the glass is flat which makes it slightly easy. Thank you for watching how I navigate, listen to music, play podcasts and keep myself safe while being in the bush where there's no signal. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. I do hope to hear from you. If you have any questions, bomb them down below and look forward to hearing from you on the next one.